Hey guys, Carlos from RealTeesFishing.com. Today we're gonna go ahead and slap on a brand new starter on this Johnson 120 horsepower. It's a 1989 model. It's a V4 looper, um, and this uh, this install pretty much goes uh, for a broad range of two-stroke engines, all the way from your uh, nine horsepower all the way up to your 250s. So this is what she looks like. right here and the model number for this one if you happen to have this particular engine is M O T 2007N and I'll give you a close up right now all right so let's go ahead and slap this on all right so I know right off the bat I'm gonna get comments on why is there light bulbs on these PVC's and well, here in South Florida, we do bully netting, which is lobstering at night. And we use these uh, rigs that are homemade with uh, LED light bulbs and an uh, inverter. And we put them on at night and we go over the flats in like two feet of water and we catch lobster. So you can check some of that video out on our, if you follow us, but let's get back to the engine here. So let's go ahead and unlock this, take this off. All right, so this engine is a 1989, so she has a little bit of rust. Um, we use the heck out of this engine. And this starter is starting to fail on us. And when we go to try to crank the key, sometimes it'll engage, sometimes it just won't pop up. It doesn't do anything. So as you can tell, we've hit it a few times, and that's usually the warning signs before it goes bad so it'll give you two three um times where you'll be able to hit it and get it going but you don't want to be using a starter like that because it will leave you thrown out there so this is the starter piece right here we're going to go ahead and start dismantling okay so first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the electrical to the outboard because you're going to have uh, wires coming off of your solenoid and your starter that are live and you don't want to put tools to it where you could technically hit the and ground things out. So let's go ahead and turn this off. And then here we have uh, this particular engine. We have a size 11 metric. And that wire will come off. Size 13. Up at the top. As you can see, we had one, two, three wires going to that. Basically, all of these are grounds. Our starter is now disconnected. So we have the grounds on this large flat uh, piece that is to the engine, and the power is going to this bottom piece right here. So we've gone ahead and detached that. Let's go ahead and take out the other bottom bolt. Power. Grounds. And then we have one last bolt back here. Right, once we take off this front bolt, she will detach. And this right here is your starter. 
all right so we got the new one here let's go ahead and spray down with a corrosion stop everywhere that there will be some contact and time to put these back on so if we remember correctly that one on just clean out the terminals gives it a better contact Now we're going to go ahead and install the hot or the positive side. Once again, there's no power to the engine. Go ahead and anti corrosion on there. Remember, this one here is an 11. Now what I like to do here is I like to make sure that I am not pinching up against the negative cables. So I'll do a close up here but you can see that it's actually avoiding it and then we're going to cinch that down. Let's get a close up here. You can see here that it's actually avoiding it versus when you tighten it pushing up against these cables since these are grounds and this is a hot it's just some peace of mind there the back side here let's go ahead and start it by hand with a finished touch I like to hit the whole thing with some anti-corrosion. And she is done. All right, guys, so we've gone ahead and put on our starter. Next thing to do is go ahead and crank her up, make sure that uh, she cranks up. And that's it. It's pretty, pretty basic. I think we did the job while we filmed in less than 20 minutes. And uh, it's definitely something that you guys could tackle at home with a little bit of uh, patience, the right tools, and uh, you'll get this done in no time. So good luck to you guys on your project, and let's go ahead and check this out.